Hello and welcome back to Master of Orion in our co-op multiplayer series we like to call Impossible Bromance. I'm back again with El Capitan Sabouts. Hello, my friend. Hello. 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 <laughs> I love. It. All right, I love now it. I love it we, so much. Didn't we? Di didn't we decide we were gonna go destroy the filthy humies? Didn't we decide we were gonna kill them? Uh, actually, I think originally we were. However, we then. Had a second thought, if you remember, Mel. We thought the dirty, filthy Cylons were kind oh, of Oh, the a... dirty, filthy yeah, Cylons. That's were, right. They were kind because of a, they're closer. Exactly. They're a pretty tempting target. And on top of that, um, they're right behind both of our empires. And they are the only that's right. empire that is behind right. our empire. So we could actually take their territory. And we don't even have to that's focus right. on reinforcing it or anything. Uh, because it's because they're just they're already tucked behind yeah tucked behind the, our front the, lines the, the iron curtain so to speak yeah exactly okay okay that's right so, I I recall now I recall now. exactly so that kind of actually works out for um you know the humans maybe they're a potential ally um, we had talked about that a little bit but we don't know just yet because we know that the uh, the humans do want an alliance they offered me an alliance at one point that's right let me uh all right let me talk to the dirty filthy humans i mean friends oh, okay yes. they reject they won't talk to me they won't talk to me right now so i'll have to wait a few turns and then we can see what maybe i can get going with them uh i finished advanced magnetism research and now i'm working on neutron physics what are you working on? i am also working on neutron physics i think we were making a beeline for the mass drivers yeah. And I definitely don't think that we should go to war with the Cylons until we have mass drivers. But once we have mass drivers, I think we should uh, pretty much instantaneously declare war. To, uh, yeah. to be honest with you, uh, and I'll start. Yeah, I'll start getting my fleets ready to go. I actually have a pretty good sized fleet outside of their border right now. I have, I have one as well. It's basically every combat ship I have: hmm. sixty-six offense and three hundred ninety-four defense. Perfect. So, so I'm sending that to Pernus right now, and then, yeah, I'll just keep cranking out. I'll just keep cranking out ships, and then we can just do, we can just save enough money to make sure we can pay for upgrades to Ex mass drivers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Going to the next turn, then. And then, uh, yeah, I'll just start pushing out a lot of uh, military ships, trying to get a feel right now for what they have. Ooh, I just got a got a leader that's plus ten percent population growth and plus ten production. Ooh, that guy's nice. I haven't gotten very many good leaders. I definitely need good leaders. I've got some that are. I've got like. I've got some that I don't even have. I have several that aren't even assigned. I kind of need to fix this real quick. Okay, so on a sign. Ooh. Call you. And. Okay. Yeah, I think we've got a pretty good border actually. Up in your uh up in your nor I guess we'd say galactic northern area, you know where uh Trelar, Zabna, Arkhamar. Is it possible for you to close off that gap there to completely kind of secure us this half of the or this quarter, I guess, of the uh the galaxy? Let me uh let me get off this screen and I'll take a look at it real quick. Okay. Um Okay, you're talking about where now? Up in like sort of the galactic, I guess you would say north, uh, west, or north-ish area. Zabna, Arkham, Trillar. There's a couple systems up there I see that are... Um, I'm guessing there's probably another player there, but... Well, yeah, the Trillarians. Trillar is their home system. Oh, okay. I mean, I, the, the system I have up there that's closed off is Pernus. Okay, okay, so that works out. And it does cut off that, it does cut off that whole arm. If we take Borea... Um, if we take... Borea from... Well, we got, we'd have to push the tire... Tier or tire? Yeah, if we wanted to completely cut them off, or we could just try to make nice with them or whatever for now. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm sure we could eventually kill them. The Cylons are definitely first on our uh, kill list.
do head up here. Oh man, the Stargates? Oh, so good. Right? I know, what a difference, right? Yeah, it makes a huge difference, especially in this whole let's move a fleet across the galaxy type deal. Yeah, I mean, it makes all of the difference. It's going to be really good for a war with the Cylons, actually. The fact that we can pretty much instantaneously reinforce our front lines, uh, that's going to be pretty huge. Grab me another planet. I guess I'll start pushing out cruisers too as I can. Yeah, and I'm actually working on a warp gate right now, or a stargate, uh, right on the front line in Valan. I'm going to put up some, uh, whatchamacallits here, a couple turns, I'll start working on, uh, yeah, military outposts up there in Pernus. Just about done with stuff I've got I'm working on in my core systems. All right, um, guess I should go ahead and get some more cruisers. I am colonizing more planets as well. I was trying to fill in all the gaps. A cruiser also, I need to... I designed one already? I don't remember if I did or not. No, I didn't. Okay, so let me do that. A little friendly oh, the humans want open borders. Are we going to get kind of comfy with the humans? They might make good allies for I the time. Yeah, no, that's fine. I mean, I mean, go ahead and accept it if you want. It's just you really want to give them open borders because they may be wanting to go to war with the Cylons right now. Would that be a bad thing? want to let them... Oh, they could take their land. Yeah, they could take yeah. their... Yeah. No, I'll decline it. I mean, if you want if you, if you you want to, it's fine. And then when, as soon as I can talk to them again, I'll try to be, you know, hey, guys, that whole your filthy Xenos thing, just ignore that. <laughs> I really meant... No, I went, I, really meant... I went ahead and declined it. I, you're, you brought up a great point. I don't want them going to war with the Cylons because the Cylons uh, are, are fresh meat. I was going to say, there are fresh meat. <laughs> <laughs> Not the humans. Humans don't Not get, the humans. They don't get that. Yeah. All right. Boy, it's tough to know what to go for next research-wise. Gravity generators would be pretty nice, but maybe I should jump back and pick up electronics or economics, actually. You know what? That's what I'm going to go for. Especially because it's going to take me a good amount of credits to upgrade. Oh, Mel sent me a, a deal. Oh, what a fantastic I deal. I did. Everybody, I sent you a deal, buddy. Everybody wins with that deal. Let's see. Okay, I got to design a cruiser here. Just take me a second. I'll be ready to go. Oh, yeah, track. no problem. Actually, I'm going to mess with my cruiser real quick, make sure it's good to go. Oops. And it is... I still technically haven't met any of the other races, and I'm just going to keep it that way. Yeah, I don't think it matters a whole hell of a lot, right? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Don't forget to add, um, as a special, the battle scanner, at least to your destroyer and cruiser. That's plus 30 to energy weapon accuracy. That's a pretty big deal. Battle scanner, I don't... Yeah, you should have it. I, I gave it to you. Oh yes, yes. That's and it's, it's not it's not that big like in terms of space. No, it's either. not. It's like yeah, a... that's pretty important that I have that. I'm surprised actually that I don't. Although I do technically got to get rid of a mass driver on this to fit it, but the accuracy makes up that difference, sort of. Yeah, thirty percent or yeah. 
plus 30 to hit or whatever. That's a pretty big deal. Merculite missiles. Did we decide that those are pretty much trash? I'm not using any missiles. Yeah. Yeah. Can't trust them. Which is the, you know, it's kind of like the exact opposite of the vanilla game, right? Where missiles are worth I know, ain't that crazy? Until the mid game. Yeah. Yeah, they're not they're not the one if you're using the 5x ultimate balance mod. No, not at all. I guess I'm going all Although that makes my cruisers technically super weak. Attack rating wise. With, with the mass driver? Yeah, but it's deceptive. You, you, it's It's yeah, not it doesn't it, They're not though. Yeah, is that not really that doesn't really reflect it, does it? No. I didn't think it so. It doesn't reflect it doesn't reflect that it doesn't have Range dissipation penalties, it doesn't reflect that it's automatically shield piercing, I mean. Yeah, I figured the least. Whoa, anomaly, I got advanced construction. Uh, oh, wow. That just gave me battle pods. Oh, give that to me, wow. bro. Talk about Pass a... Pass that. Talk about a find. Yeah, Hell yes. I'm actually going to look real quick. Wow, advanced construction, that was a... That was like a high tier. That was like at least 15 turns if I wanted to research that. Yeah. Wow. Send me that, man. Yeah, sending, Send it. Sending that to you. That oh, battle pods. Okay, now. And in six turns, I I too will have mass drive. Yes. I'll be ready. To, I'll be ready to go punch some Cylon face. Oh, it says I have no technology available though to trade. Can I not trade it? Uh, battle pods is tradable. I thought. Let me look at the tech list. Oh no! Oh, it's a it's a single it's a single tier in the in the five uh, X mod. Oh my so, goodness! That's okay, but hey, at least you've got it. You can retrofit your ships and put a ton more stuff. Yeah, in. well, it'll definitely make a difference. Yeah, wow, holy crap! The difference in stuff I can add is uh, insane. Pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. Actually, Mass drivers seem to be giving my ships a massive bonus in, if I'm reading this correctly, a pretty big bonus in defense. If you've got some set up as point defense, yeah. Oh, okay. That explains it. Uh, okay. Yeah, that makes a difference. Good thing I had a good thing you said that. I had some of these set up in point defense. In fact. There we go. That looks normal now. Are you waiting for the turn? Hmm. I was. Are you want me, wait. Are you in the next turn, or did you just finish? No, I I haven't finished yet. Hold on one second. I'll finish up. I, that's why I was wondering if you were waiting for me. I just finished. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. Hold on one second. Just need. Oh, by the way, the amoeba. We were, we were like, oh, maybe we can kill the amoeba because it's in Hawking because it's weak or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Spud was like, no, 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 because it doesn't account for the fact that the amoeba like breaks apart into smaller versions oh, of itself. Oh no. And none, none of that's accounted for in its combat strength. He's like, it's actually the the toughest one other than the guardian that protects Orion. I was like, "Oh, well, okay, good tip." <laughs> yeah, great tip. Just <laughs> he was basically like, "Don't, don't do that." He's like, "Don't, don't go." <laughs> very bad, very, very bad. Oh, look, they got thirteen colonies. The Cylons do now. Really? Yeah. So it's actually a good thing we're going after them. It looks Thir like they're the runaway. Thirteen colonies in, in what? In like five systems? <laughs> yeah. If yeah. That. I'll give it to him. 
Oh, I've got pirates. No way. Really? Yeah. Scumbag pirates. Scumbag pirates. It's all right. I've got military ships around here somewhere. I need to get biotechnology. Oh, that's something else, too. Okay, so um, you remember when you got the toxic condenser because you're a high production custom race? Yes. Okay, and you got it when you got biotechnology from that anomaly. Remember when you got fungal farms for free? Oh, yeah, that was great. So Toxic Condenser is a hidden tech that's behind biotechnology. So when you get biotechnology, you get the Toxic Condenser, oh. even though it doesn't show it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's That explained why ah. I still don't have it. And so you, you technically still have to... Yeah. Yep. Okay. And I will. I will get it. But I just wanted to let you know that was something no, else. No, that... I'm glad you. I'm glad you said something. Okay, I think we're back. Sabouts. We are back. We're al we are live. What's up, buddy? You're back. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right. Everybody's back. Okay. Yes. All right. So, uh, let's get together and uh, let's smash the Cylons. Let's do that like sooner rather than later. I agree. We're, we were waiting on certain tech. I'm going for economics right now. But was there something in particular that we were focusing on? We got mass drivers. I think Did you get mass drivers? I don't. Okay. I'm five turns away. I think that's what we were that's waiting on. That's what we were on. waiting on. That's right, because we were waiting on you to get mass drivers, and I was moving, I was building up my military and moving it towards the Cylons borders, because really, I mean, crushing them is going to be the best thing we can do. Uh, just yeah. considering where yeah, they're yeah. stationed in the galaxy, they're at. I agree. Yeah, it's, it gives us the opportunity to expand into those borders without really much consequence. And I got oh, economics. Somebody got somebody got smacked down by the Antarians. Oh, not us, because we're not the point leaders. <laughs> yeah, and probably never will be. Let me try to talk to the humans. Man, that that guy is just all kinds of pissed at me. <laughs> he does not want to talk to me. the humans. Uh, yeah. No, they actually kind of like me. Oh, I know they do. They want an alliance with you and the whole bit. Uh, yeah. You know, the cloning center. I might go to the cloning center. That's a really good counter to my negative growth I took. What you could do is just, on your high growth worlds, you could just double down by adding that to it and then use those planets to farm, pop, and then send them to other worlds with civil transports. Yep. Instead of putting them on every planet, because they do have a maintenance associated with them. You know what would be cool is if it somebody makes a mod, or of course, I, I doubt we'll see new features for this game be implemented by the actual developers, but I don't know. Rumor has it you said there's a patch coming. I mean, that's what I heard. I heard that there is a uh, there's a, some type of update or patch on the way. It's supposed to maybe have some bug fixes. I'm not entirely sure what's uh, what it involves. I haven't seen anything. I just heard rumors floating around on the Forex subreddit. Uh huh. Well, I remain I remain a skeptic on that. And I would but I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> But what would be cool is if somebody could put a mod together, kind of like I think endless. I think endless space. The first one had this, um, where on the like the colony or empire screen, there was actually an option to remove obsolete tech from your colonies. Okay. Like one button, and you could remove it from all colonies. Oh. Like as, so, as an example, let's say you're max growthed out on a bunch of planets, but you had built a colony uh, or a, a cloning center, right? Then you can hit that button and I bloop and get rid of all of them. Oh, okay. That's nice. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Yeah. It'd be neat if Master Ryan had that kind of feature. That would be very nice. Come in handy. I love the way all I'm right, set well, up right now. My fleet is 90 slash 615 and that's without, that's without my mass drivers, so... I almost said mouse drivers. <laughs> uh, mouse drivers. <laughs> I almost said mouse drivers. We're gonna launch. We're gonna launch mice at them through our Eat hot mice. cannons. <laughs> Eat hot mice. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
God, what? Die, sidelines, die. What is wrong with us? <sighs> Hey, whatever. I don't know. Hey, man. It, like I said, as long as as long as we appreciate each other and have a good time, that's all. That matters, that's man. the most important part. Actually, I had somebody say uh, in the comments to that other video where we said that, where they're like, "Hey, no, I appreciate you guys." I was like, "Oh, all right. Well, thanks." Yeah. Yep. Somebody out there cares, man. Somebody out there cares. There's all. There's at least one. There's at least there's one. At least. <laughs> That's all you need, man. That's all you need. How many turns away are you now? Uh, well, after this turn process, I think one. Oh yes. Question mark. Yeah, one turn away. Oh, let's see. Uh, the line will be drawn here. No further. No further. Cylons have nowhere to go. Oh, and guess what just rolled off the line? Hello, cruiser. Oh, boy. Woo -woo. First That's cruiser. Right. First cruiser. That's right. I've got to be pretty close to my next cruiser uh, two turns away for my first cruiser. But even then, my fleet that's right outside the Cylon borders is 46 to 46. I think I'm actually going to leave this. Mm, I'm debating. Do I leave then, this cruiser? For defense, or do I send this cruiser to go to the war? It's actually due for an upgrade. Don't know. No, oh, so many choices. So many choices. Ooh, finally a new leader. Research plus 10%, disposition plus 10%. Did you already get... Did you already get battle pods? You did, didn't you? You got them from I like did, a yeah. or some nonsense, didn't you? Yeah. Gumbag. It's actually pretty good. I'm gonna you're hire complete... this. You're not even a scumbag, you're a complete scumbagel. Because you're semi-tasty. Whoa, semi -tasty. whoa, whoa, a scumbagel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a... yeah. I can't not yep. allowed to be like a scum English muffin or something. I have no, to. no. I have yeah, to. it's 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 bagel. It's bagel oh, for you. What the heck, scum bagel? And I guess I'll Let's take see. it. Not Edit. happy about it, but the neutron blaster. Neutron blaster's going the way of the dodo. This is a good production system, but it also would be a good science system. Maybe. Oh, here's another one. Oh yeah, that's the one. Okay. Perfect. All right, so you've got to do all your altering with your blueprints, right, for your mass drivers? Yeah, I'm, I'm almost done. Oh, you're doing it right now? Yep. Perfect. I still need to upgrade my ships, but I definitely cannot afford the credits to do so. Can't afford it. No, it is very, very expensive for me to upgrade my ships. The ones I have to have mass drivers. So I'm saving up. How much is it going to cost you? 1300 credits? Yeah. Really? Actually, almost 1400 to upgrade four destroyers and two frigates. They're pretty big upgrades. They're pretty much like base model destroyers and frigates upgraded to mass drivers. Um, what else is getting on there? Battle pods, battle scanners, nuclear bomb. Then, yeah. So there's a lot there. A little further. 
I just spent like like a thousand upgrading some of mine. Oh, the humans offer me 82 credits for star charge. That's a good deal. I I would take it, if nothing else, just to stay buddy-buddy with them. Yeah, I mean, on top of that, I mean, really, at this point, what do they get from star charts? I mean, I don't think the AI really is going to get anything out of it. And, um... I could use the credits, because I need to get that upgrading. Oh, yes, first cruiser is out. This is... This pleases me. I got a pirate I've got to deal with too, so we're going to test her out. You already put in neutron colliders on your planets? Not yet, but I'm working on it. Yeah, that's a big upgrade, neutron colliders. Oh yeah, that's huge. That's absolutely huge, yeah, especially on, I've got a lot of um, super heavy production planets and um, Balik is like a really massive uh, production system, so it'll be good to get something there. Plus I got moons on those planets, damn, Balik is going to be a really good production system. And Enoch, uh, Enoch is also going to be a super heavy production system. Oh yeah, when you're done with it, it'll be badass. All right, well, let's go ahead and wrap. Let's wrap this one up and then come back. And why don't we come back when we're ready to go to war? Like, just skip a few turns in between episodes? Yeah, that sounds good. want to do that, and we'll just come back when we're, like, ready to smash Silent Base? Absolutely. All right, folks. Well, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, he's about time, Mal, and we'll see you later.